Another one behind it. Uh, I might have to bounce this the last one. Alright, alright, alright. It's just heavy, man. Nice, nice. You got it down, man. Quick question. Quick question before you go. Quick question. How did you get the light skin? I like it. My father's about your complexion, but my mother's a white complexion. She's black. She's from um, North Carolina, and she's the lights in her family. Most of them white complexion. She came out black. Okay. Yeah. But your pops, you know you do your daddy, you know, that's the yeah. oh, yeah. The yeah. man carries shoes according to the man. Not yeah. according to the man, any woman. The man got one blood type, the woman got another blood type, and the baby come out with the father. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, like his family, your complexion is dark. Oh, first of all, okay. Alright, okay. Alright, man. Hey, Earl. Nice, man. Come check us, man. Check out the website, media, contact us, man. We're here. Alright? Tighten it up to me. I'm going to talk to you. Praise the Lord, alright? Take care, man. Alright, thanks. 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 Praise the Lord, the grace and the spirit of Christ, the most high power. Praise the Lord in the spirit and grace of Christ. And the most high power, we're back with the Bible. We'll do a little thing on woe. On woe, in the meaning of woe. And how this thing break down. And we kind of like mesh that in with our lesson on the Gentiles. And, and, and how this about, about salvation. Are the Gentiles going to get saved and this and that. So, on the strength of that, on the strength of that, we're still in Galatians, the second chapter, right? Galatians, the second chapter on this side. I'm going to use Deuteronomy, the 29th chapter. Here, read Psalm 74 and whatnot. Hold on, hold on. Tell me we're in Galatians 2, right? Uh, read from 1 straight through now. Galatians 2 and 1. Right. Then 14 years after. I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas All right. and took Titus with me also. Right. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel, right. which I preached among the Gentiles. Praise the Lord. This is Paul speaking about the second trip to Jerusalem. Right? He said he went to preach that gospel which he speak amongst the Gentiles. This is, a, this is a big boy scene here, man. This stuff here is universal. Worldwide. How this thing applies. So it doesn't matter uh, um, how much somebody's not into it or how much brothers and sisters are unaware. The fact of the matter is that the gospel is being preached throughout. So Paul went back and let the brothers know how this thing go. Read on. But privately to them which were of reputation. Right. Lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. Praise the Lord. That's the whole thing about it. It's to the Jew first, then to the Gentiles. So what's the deal? We're not trying to run in vain. Meaning run or come out here and preach worthlessly. Meaning just preach to others and not be profitable to ourselves. This thing is profitable to everybody that does these things or gets involved with the Bible and the scriptures. There's profit in it. Read on that. Show what you got. Galatians 2 verse 3. Right. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. Right. Titus being a Greek. Neither Titus, who was a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. What happened was... They were saying, come on, walk straight through, sorry, right, well, What they said now, the scribes and Pharisees told Paul, Peter, and the brothers, if you bring any Gentiles in, if you bring any man or one man from another nationality, he has to be circumcised, according to the law of Moses. Paul is saying that's not the case. If you be circumcised, Christ profit you nothing. Not a thing, we don't know. Galatians 2 verse 4. So Titus, the Greek, they didn't need to circumcise him. Why? Read it. And that because of false brethren, unaware is brought in, who came and privily to spy our liberty, right. which we have in the house shop, that they might bring us into bondage. That's what, 
That's what they want to do. False brothers that came in, meaning liars, jokers. All they try to do is get brothers under a little, uh, 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 um, under a rule, under a certain type of rule so they can be subject unto them. Give me this real quick, five, Romans 5 and 1. 5 and 1, right? We know. Galatians 2 and 5. To whom we gave place by subjection. No, not for an hour. That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. That's why it went. Yeah, I mean, the truth of the gospel is starting with the Jews, the so called Negroes, West Indians, and Puerto Ricans. You're really the Jews, the Israelites out of the Bible. Not Jewish, but the Israelites out of the Bible. That's who we are in truth. That's who we are. So the truth must start with Israel. It can't start with the China man or the Japanese or the so called white man. It's to the Jew first, then to the Gentile. We know that. Galatians 2 and 6. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it maketh no matter to me. But whoever come in, it don't matter who you are. It don't matter what you did in your past. That doesn't matter. Your reputation or your popularity. That doesn't matter. That can't, the Lord is not a respected person. He don't care and we don't care either. The fact, the point is that you come through with the goods of righteousness. Right works, you know. The most I accepted no man's person. None. For they who seem to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. They added nothing to Paul. But contrary wise. Stop. Hold that. Show what you got. Romans 5 and 1. Right. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High. That's where we at, man. We got peace with the Heavenly Father. Through our Lord, the Allah Christ. Christ. In Christ stead. In Christ stead. We're justified through faith. Walk on through. It's all right. We're justified through faith because we believe. Because we believe. Faith is the thing. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. And we believe. Our faith, we believe in the Lord, we're going to see Him one day. We're going to see Him one day soon. We got faith in that. Show me what you got, out. Romans 5 and 2. By whom also we have access by faith and to this grace wherein we stand right? and rejoice in the hope of the glory of the Most High. That's what we have faith by access into this grace wherein we stand. We got grace. The lives we have lived before Christ brought us into this zone are ragged and wicked. And through the grace of the Heavenly Father, we come into a, a liberal vibration of wisdom. You understand? And this joint here is hot. You understand? And that there is our grace. So we stand in that. Bring it back. Deuteronomy 29. Give me Psalm 74 and 1. Psalm 74 and 1. Right. The most, almost time. Why hast thou cast us off? Excuse me. Why hast thou cast us off forever? Right. Why do thine anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Check this out now. 